one of the messages that we want to get out is that you have a responsibility, particularly if you want to succeed in this new world we're heading into, to open your mind and construct a new reality. Uh, you but know, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does so that look like? That means, like? you know, don't retreat to your little silo and hold to your beliefs as being inevitable about the world. When we talk about humility in, in the book, we mean the psychological definition of humility. So we don't mean the religious connotation, uh, although there's you know obviously overlap. Um, and we don't mean this idea that if you're humble, you feel like you're less than other people or you're subservient in some way. We mean humility in that you are open to being corrected, <laughs> that you have yep. a, a, an accurate sense of your strengths and weaknesses. Um, and that or maybe, maybe just don't be so attached right. to what, what you, what you've grown up with. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, right. I mean, that, that's kind of right. And that you're not so self-absorbed that you can get out of your bubble, um, because you don't have your ego wrapped up in staying in your bubble, that you're willing to listen to other people. You're willing to subject your beliefs to contradictory uh, information. I mean, if we could just get people to do that, we might have less of this idea politics and people retreating to their corners. <laughs> 